Hello everyone. Uh, in today's video, I'm going to walk you through how to install Lancebox on a Mac computer. Once we have Lancebox installed, we're actually then going to look at how to load your first corpus into Lancebox on a Mac. So let's get started. So the first thing you'll want to do uh, is head over to the Lancebox website, the download website. And uh, again, uh, we're looking at a Mac. So go ahead and click on the Mac download button. That will download the Lancebox installer, which I have already downloaded here. Once you open up the installer, go ahead and uh, you can try to click this and it might give you a, uh, an error message or a warning message that says it is an untrusted application. If you have the option to open it now, go ahead and open it. Um, this is a safe program. However, uh, you might run into a problem of uh, your um, system uh, not allowing you to open this at all, in which case you will need to control click on the application to bring up the open uh, selection. That should override the security feature. So uh, go ahead and, un or, and install that program uh, and decide which directory you would want to put it in. Uh, I have already installed this program on my machine. So I will also uh, want to share one other troubleshooting tip. Now here is the, uh, the Lancebox folder with all of the files. Here is the application to run the program. Now we have run into some issues where perhaps this doesn't open uh, again for security purposes, but one way to get around this is if you make an alias and then place this alias in your applications folder at the bottom, then run Lancebox from your applications folder. Now this might not be an issue for you, but if you do have issues opening it for security purposes, this is one way that we have found that allows uh, you to open Lancebox. So we're just going to give that another second to open. And today, uh, our goal is to load our first corpus. So here is the interface of Lancebox. So uh, the first thing we want to do is we want to name the corpus that we will upload. So I will name this corpus syntactic priming corpus because it is a corpus of articles based on syntactic priming. So I've named the corpus. The next thing I will do is I will load the files. Before you load the files, it will be extremely helpful if you simply place all of the files you want to analyze in a separate folder. So they are all together in a folder. So we're going to load the data and we're going to click on corpus. Now I'm going to navigate to the uh, file. Oops. Now sometimes this has done this where it will it will get a little glitchy, but okay. So let's try this again. Uh, again, load data. We're going to go to corpus. We're on my desktop and I will navigate to the folder that I have labeled syntactic priming corpus. This contains all of the articles that I want to analyze. So I am going to choose and you will see them all here. These are all PDF academic articles. So once I have that, uh, all the files that I want to load into my uh, Lance box, I will click on import. And it's going to uh, collect the files, tag them for parts of speech, and uh, upload them into the corpus. And this will take um, about a minute. It could take even longer, depending on how many files you are actually loading in corpus. But you can see uh, the progress in the lower left corner where it says which article it's loading. You will see that it is tagging for parts of speech, and then it will move to the next article. So we'll just give that uh, a minute to uh, load here.
Okay, and as you can see, uh, there's already been some analysis done on your corpus. Um, so this uh, is all loaded. We have it right here, syntactic priming corpus. Uh, there are 20 files total. We have 180,994 tokens. Now, what is a token? A token is just a word. Um, so in other words, we have 180,994 total words in this corpus. Uh, the next number, 12,842 types. These are uh, unique words. So there are almost 13,000 unique words in this corpus. And then the next number, 10,668 lemmas. A lemma is, is something like a word family or uh, uh, the root of a word before you put, um, when you add on a suffix or a prefix that would be counted as uh, this part of a lemma. Uh, so we have uh, 10,668 lemmas in our corpus. Now you can see over here, these are the individual articles in the corpus. So I can scroll down and I can look at the uh, individual files. You will notice the files here, uh, they have been named so that they are a little bit intuitive. Uh, so we have last name, year, and then the title or an abbreviated title of the article. Now this is because perhaps you might want to make comparisons among different files within your corpus. And so if you can easily identify those files uh, in your analysis, um, you might want to take care in naming them something that you will understand. And you can also see that uh, for each individual file, there, there has also been an analysis of how many tokens, how many types, and how many lemmas uh, are in each file. So now that this is complete, you will be ready to start your first uh, analyses of your corpus.